Hello, this is Cardboard Geek. Today we have another cheap and cheerful unboxing, and on the table today we have Lost Ruins of Arnak, uh, designed by Min and Helwyn, and it's uh, produced by Czech Games Edition. It's a game for one to four players, uh, 12 plus, and uh, it's allegedly 30 minutes a player. Um, as yet, I've had a couple of games with this with someone else, haven't quite managed that yet, but then that's just because we end up just chaining the lovely combos. But this is my first time I've unboxed it, so here we go. Let's get the box lid off. Nice firm lid. There we go. Oops, just drop that over there. So, what do we have inside? Well, we have some cards. Ow. Uh, these pretty much run the game. Uh, I'm not going to get them out. I have actually seen quality of the cards. I'm quite happy with them. But you have a lovely load of uh, artifacts and other bits and pieces. And uh, we are headed off with this magnificent sea turtle. There we go. Um, all very nice. Let's have a look at that. Oops. Uh, <laughs> already got a score sheet. I haven't ready, apparently. Uh, score sheets. I'm not... I like having the score sheets, but I rarely use them, to be perfectly honest, because I like to use score sheets. I know it seems to make them kind of redundant, but that's just me. And then we have some lovely wooden figures, uh, little indies. Uh, basically, it's a game about archaeology, so that's got to be Indiana Jones, let's face it. Or something similar. Archaeologists have kind of uh, got typecast. No whips, though. Anyway, so, oops, it looks like I'm going to have to put some stickers on, I think. Um, it's a good point. I need to find the sticker sheet somewhere in here, I'm assuming. Right, uh, reference cards. Always good to have reference cards. I know these ones are quite good as well, having yeah, used them in the actual game. Uh, the nice little uh, advertising material there. Word lost me for a minute. The, this is one of the bits I really love about this game. The pieces, even though they're plastic, which, let's face it, isn't a bad thing, but nothing quite feels as good as... Um, <laughs> I hate to say it would. Um, uh, that has a bit more of a weight or something. But no, these are nice. These nice little. Uh, these, I, I particularly like the fact that the rubies in it are actually uncut. Um, they haven't cheaped out and decided that the rubies were going to be actually cut to shape. So that's quite nice. And the arrowheads are kind of nice. And flint is kind of blue. So that's all right. And. Uh, Little tablets which power all the artifacts and everything. Some nice little cuneiform writing on there. So, uh, it's nice details that. So then we have the uh, rule book. Oh, there's a sticker sheet. It'll be somewhere uh, for putting on your magnifying glasses and notebooks. Uh, and a good, lovely full rule book which um, I'll look through it. It seems to explain everything nice and well. Nice and well. Grammar is sucking today. Anyway, uh, it's illustrated and lovely. Uh, yeah, my grammar really does suck today. I apologise. Uh, this is cheap and cheerful, so I'm not stopping. Uh, you just have to take it as it comes. Um, uh, it all seems pretty clear. I mean, I pretty much learned by playing. I did very little actual reading of the rule book. Just enough to get by and get some of the more important little nitty gritty bits. Uh, though when we're doing it apparently this bit got left out the snake temple side so i have played the snake temple side but i haven't played it properly yet so we'll be getting around to doing that at some point uh maybe i should have read the rule book uh so that's on me and then we have uh, oh, the bit everyone loves when they get a new game the bits you have to pop but uh, they're falling out <laughs> they're popping themselves as we speak um yeah the Thing is, though, I can actually then show you the board. obviously the player boards. Uh, I usually use red, so but it's good thickness. Um, I don't think that's gonna actually suffer too much wear and tear. So, your basically your camps, all your other bits and pieces. Here we go. I know some of these are for solo, your assistants, which are nice. I like the way this isn't working. Try that again. <clears throat> I like the way assistants work in this. Anyway, <laughs> let's carry on. You got your little. Uh, oh, let's see if I can get this turned over. Oh, 
bang the camera. You know, I put the camera up high today so I said not to do this. But, uh, yeah, as I said, cheap and cheerful. So, uh, there we go. All the uh, locations here. Illustrations on it are really, really nice. I originally wasn't going to get to this game. I had June Imperium and I thought that was nice enough. And then I played a game. And in two rounds, I was kind of like, oh, I really must get this game. It's got a solo mode. I mean, I know we're coming out of lockdown soon. Fingers crossed it holds that way. But, you know, solo mode, I often do get stuck on my own a bit. So it's nice to have one. Uh, boards. Oh, okay. I don't know if there's a second side to that board. I'll look into that later. Creatures, various monsterosos. What have we got? We've got Feathered Serpent, go Quetzalcoatl there. Lovely big spider, possibly Athlatnaka. Probably the meanest wild boar, Pomba, on steroids. Nice big beetle. Some sort of giant, giant lizard looks like it's a throwback to 70s dinosaurs in movies. Where they used to, get, uh, used to get a chameleon or a lizard and stick fins and stuff on it. I'm assuming that's a rock. Oh no, that might be the rock. It's a big bird anyway. Um, big giant scorpion. A very majestic, surprisingly looking frog. Big red ants. Oh, we can redo them. Um, if you, anyone remembers the old film. Yeah, they're all... Quite nice. Let's say the first time I've, I've, I've sort of seen these before, but not actually seen them in there. Uh, just getting them out of the box. What we have in here? Giant bat, a tiger with a very interesting and striking pan, and a big owl. Hmm. And we've got all the other little bits and bobs here. And oh, there we go. Finally, there is the board. Board, board, board. Oh. And people who do watch my videos will know that I like baggies. Look at them. That's a nice little roll there. Nice little roll. Uh, very thoughtful of you, uh, Czech Games. Um, let's just tip this so I can get the board out safely. There we go. Right. Uh, the board is beautiful. I mean, again, top marks for graphics on this. I did not check who the graphic artist was, but I must commend them. It certainly has a feel. Well, everything's falling here. I'm going to have to put this back. But both sides of the board look nice. Um, that's the normal side. And the other side would be Snake Island. Which uh, probably be a picture of a snake out there. Just really helps. Nice dark sky. Um, let me just have a look. It, the pictures are similar, just slightly different uh, feel to it. Oh, well, yeah, that's fine. Bring that back in. I like the look of that. Right, I'm going to actually find out who uh, actually has that uh, responsible for the artwork on this. I'm going to try and quickly put everything away and get onto it in a minute. So, in we go. So, so it's not so much an unboxing at this point as a reboxing. Uh, doo -doo. Right, there we go. There's loads of room in this box. Oops. Oh, there's actually what I'm looking for. I need the rule book. I will sort this out and get it all punched and uh, bagged in a moment. Right, so Ming and L Wing are the designers. Do we have the credit for the art anywhere? No, I can't see it. Um, that would be really nice. I would really like to know who the artist is on this. Um, I don't know. Anyone who does know, feel free to put it in the comments. Um, but uh, 
yes it looks very very nice i don't know if it says on the box oh here we go we have it now art oh okay i might not be able to pronounce these i'm about to butcher what i'm assuming is czech andre hitrina uh milan avavon jury kus and francis i'll put them there pronounce them yourselves but i would like to say most definitely 3d 3d art Okay, I'll look into that later. I would like to say, nice job on the feel of the art. It really, really captures the theme well. Having played this, I'm looking forward to being able to play this solo on my own now. I, I have been looking forward to playing this with other people. It's one of those games where you start off not doing a great deal. There we go. Let, let's watch the box just drop down. But there we have it. It's just... One of those games, as I say, where everything starts off slow and then everything speeds up. So, there we go. We have Lost Ruins of Arnak, uh, designed by Min Elwin. Artwork by the people I showed you. I'm not going to attempt to butcher their language or their pronunciations, but top job. And Czech Games Edition. Uh, Omega. Let's have a look at the back quickly before we uh, send you off. Okay, so there we have it all set up for you, in case you were wondering what it would look like. Anyway, I've been Cardboard Geek. This has been Lost Ruins of Arnak. Like, subscribe, whatever it is you do. Comment if you like, it would be nice. Spread it about, even better. Um, and I've actually quite enjoyed unboxing this. Uh, the quality on this is fantastic. And I'm going to say, I don't normally do recommendations, so I might comment like them, but... This one is a winner, definitely a winner, and for a game that I wasn't that interested to start with, it's taken me nicely by surprise. So, there you go, Lost Ruins of Arnak. Uh, this is Cheap and Cheerful uh, Unboxing by Cardboard Geek, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye.